The tag team action underway here. Neutralizes her with a neck breaker. Trouble in paradise. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Elbow drop, big time. You know, a lot of people say Jinder Mahal's WWE Championship win came out of nowhere, but he really was a star on the rise in early 2017, especially at WrestleMania. Yeah, in a packed field at the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, the modern-day Maharaja almost outlasted 32 other men to win the biggest ever WrestleMania Battle Royal. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Recalling our conversation regarding Jinder Mahal and the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, Mojo Rawley won the match, but Mahal was runner-up and might have won the added anger to professional football player cheering on Mojo at ringside. Yeah, in a just world, that football flunky would have been ejected by the security lady, stayed out of the ring, and the modern-day Maharaja would have been coronated at the greatest stage of the moment. And she got her with a clothesline. She's in control now following that slam. She got her with the drop kick. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. From the hallowed ground of the Heart Dungeon in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia debuted in WWE at odds with the Bella Twins and managed the Heart Dynasty to the WWE Tag Team Championship. Natalia began competing in singles action and formed a dominating alliance with Beth Phoenix soon after the Queen of Hearts was part of the debut season of E's Total Divas reality show and added a red carpet correspondent to her resume. Natalia returned to managing and led Tyson Kidd and Cesaro to WWE Tag Team Gold before reinvigorating her singles career, which included a classic match for the NXT Women's Championship against Charlotte. A driving force of the women's revolution today, Natalia's goal is to dominate the women's division. Oh, oh my God! Surfboard leg breaker! Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. She gets her good with the leg drop. Oh, and a snap there. That'll give you a whiplash. Wow, a gut buster. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. And she's driven to the mat hard. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. Alicia Fox doing some damage. Just driven down with such power, guys. No! She breaks it! Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. When she gets in attack mode, look out! And she hits the backbreaker. Natalia's version of the sharpshooter taught to her by her uncle, WWE Hall of Famer Brett. Hitman Hart is perfectly executed and can snap an opponent's back like a twig. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now.
Natalia certainly learned this business from some of the best. When the Queen of Hearts takes that first step and turns over her opponent, Alicia Fox is in position. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. This could be it. This battle's not over yet. Not yet. Alicia Fox has her right where she wants her. There it is, Foxy putting those long legs to good use. This is all but over. Natalia's scissors kick. She is just so dominant. Shoulders on the mat. Natalia is sports entertainment royalty, and this is the first third generation female competitor in WWE history. The Queen of Hearts is also the only female to survive training in the Heart Dungeon. And she gets her shoulder up. Natalia is one of the toughest ladies in the WWE. It'll take more than that to stop her. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. And it's Natalia with the reversal. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that look caught her by surprise, Michael. Over Natalia's impressive career, we've seen her be the affable, gracious, and fun-loving Queen of Hearts. And we've seen her to be the merciless Queen of Black Hearts. Natalia has been on both sides of the fence, so to speak, when it comes to following the rules. But either way, the superstar is known for her no-nonsense attitude and intensity. She is on fire. And the knee connects. She drops her with a clothesline. Natalia in some big trouble here. Her tag team partner has to be concerned at this point. Jinder Mahal has become such a big threat as of late. Guys, how can you hope to counter the modern-day Maharaja? Okay, look, not to take anything away from Jinder Mahal and all of his accomplishments, but a lot of his success is tied to the Singh brothers. You need to plan for them. Incoming. Bringing it back into the ring. Myron brought up the strategy of taking out the Singh brothers, but it's easier said than done. Corey, how do you manage the multiple threats that come with Mahal in this? She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. There may be no greater transformation in WWE history than Jinder Mahal's return and metamorphosis into the modern-day Maharaja, winning the WWE Championship in the process. With the tag is Alicia Fox. Michael, going back to Jinder Mahal's growth, he improved greatly over his first run with WWE, but he still lacked a spark when he returned in 2016 as the man who comes in peace. Yeah, the 2017 was truly transformative. Luckily, he ditched that peaceful shtick, won the WWE Championship, and had probably the best year of any WWE superstar in 2017. Delivers the axe handle. Playing dirty here. Takes her down. Wow, nice move right there. I'm going to go on the record right now and say Natalia is the physically strongest woman in sports entertainment. There's no way anyone can match power with the Queen of Hearts, though I think Natalia is strongest when her heart is black. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. Ah, oh, and look at the pain in those eyes right now. Natalia has incredible strength and the ability to channel that strength in different ways. It would not be wise for an opponent to try and get the best of Natalia in the power department. There are so many things a superstar needs to be wary of when walking up with the Queen of Hearts. But the first thing Natalia's opponent must accept is they can't try and match power with the third generation superstar. Bad idea. Back inside the ring now. Suplex. Nice. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very... This one's over, guys. Scissors kick. I do not like Natalia's chances here, guys. The cover. 
A win like that says a lot about a duo. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Nice teamwork by these two here tonight. With wolves like that, there's no way these two should even think about splitting up. Just my opinion. Hope you set your DVRs, folks, because that match is worth going back and watching again.